hi welcome back to my channel so today we'll be talking about erectile dysfunction its causes prevention and treatment this is a common but yet sensitive condition that has affected millions of men and is still affecting many men in the world today so we'll be talking about how you can prevent this from happening the causes of this condition and the treatment of this condition I'm pharmacist Vera and this YouTube channel is focused on health and health related talks. If you've not yet subscribed to my channel, please click on the subscription button. What is erectile dysfunction? Erectile dysfunction is the inability to achieve and maintain an erection from a no product of sexual intercourse. It's a really distressing and frustrating condition. It is currently affecting millions of men in the world today. Statistics shows that over 15% of men within the ages of 40 and 59 are suffering from erectile dysfunction. 45% of men in their 60s and 70% of men in their 70s and above are suffering from erectile dysfunction. So you should pay attention to know the causes of this condition and how to prevent and treat this condition. The first cause of erectile dysfunction we'll be talking about in this video is cardiovascular diseases like high blood pressure, atherosclerosis. These conditions can impede blood flow to the body and this will in turn affect erectile function. This is because the arteries supplying blood to the penis are quite smaller than the ones supplying blood to the heart and hence they easily get clogged. When they get clogged, Erectile function will be affected. So cardiovascular diseases can cause erectile dysfunction too. Number two, diabetes. Uncontrolled diabetes can also cause erectile dysfunction. This is because it causes nerve damage and damage of the blood vessels. And this will affect erectile function. Statistics shows that over 50 to 75% of men with diabetes experience some degrees of erectile dysfunction at some points in their life number three hormonal imbalance when there's a decrease in testosterone level erectile function will be affected hence hormonal imbalance can cause erectile dysfunction too four neurological disorders like stroke parkinson's disease multiple sclerosis can also cause erectile dysfunction this is because the transmission of nerve signals will be affected and this transmission of nerve signals is responsible for achieving and even maintaining erection. So when the transmission of nerve signals is affected, the erectile dysfunction will set in because erectile function will be affected too. Number four, use of certain medications and abuse of certain substances. Abuse of alcohol decreases nitric oxide levels excess alcohol intake decreases nitric oxide levels in the body and it is this nitric oxide that helps in the dilation of the blood vessels supplying blood to the penis this will lead to erectile dysfunction also use of certain medications like antidepressants and some blood pressure medications can also cause erectile dysfunction one of those blood pressure medications is atinolol can also cause erectile dysfunction. Number six, psychological factors so like stress, anxiety, depression, relationship issues, and other emotional issues can also cause erectile dysfunction because it, they will decrease your sexual performance, leading to a decrease in erectile function. So now these are the causes of erectile dysfunction. We'll be talking about how to prevent erectile dysfunction and how to treat this condition. Even though there are drugs like Cialis, like Viagra that are used in the management of this condition that improve the dilation of the blood vessels and promote blood flow, still these drugs are limited. They cannot take care of the root cause of this condition. So now we'll be talking about ways to prevent and to treat erectile dysfunction. The first, the first way to prevent or to treat erectile dysfunction is to Engage in regular exercise. Engaging in regular exercise helps to reduce stress and improve erectile function by improving vasodilatory activity and boosting nitric oxide secretion. Nitric oxide vasodilatory activity 
is what helps to improve erectile function. So when you engage in regular exercise, it will help to reduce stress. And this will help to improve your erectile function too. For people that are obese, obesity is also a major cause of erectile dysfunction. So engaging in regular exercise will help you to maintain a healthy weight and this will in turn improve your erectile function. Number two, eat healthy. Eat healthy foods. Eat foods that will reduce your risk for developing heart diseases. Go and watch my video on reducing your risk of heart diseases. The link is below. You can just click on it and watch the video because there are natural ways to reduce your risk for heart diseases. So watch that video. Also, eating healthy will also help to boost erectile function. You want to boost your erectile function. You are still eating unhealthy foods. You are still eating fatty foods. You are still eating foods that will increase your risk for high blood pressure, atherosclerosis. No, no, no. You are not doing it right. There are also nitric oxide rich foods that you should eat that will improve the vasodilatory activity in your body system. These foods include spinach, lettuce, dark chocolate, seeds and nuts, carrots, vegetables, fruits. Eat healthy, reduce your fatty foods intake and eat healthy foods. Number four, avoid sugar intake. If you avoid sugar intake, it will reduce your risk for certain cardiovascular disorders like atherosclerosis. That's the clogging of the blood vessels. This is because atherosclerosis destroys or damages the endothelial lining of the blood vessels. And this will affect erectile functions. So mind your sugar intake as this will help to improve your erectile function. Number four, improve your sleep. Low sleep leads to low levels of testosterone and this will affect erectile function. So try to sleep more as this will reduce stress and it will improve erectile function. Number five, monitor your blood pressure. Monitor your cholesterol level. Monitor your blood sugar level from time to time. Take note of your improvement to these natural ways you are embarking on to reduce your risk for erectile dysfunction and cardiovascular disorders monitor your vitals check your blood pressure check your blood sugar level regularly also check your blood cholesterol levels too to ensure that you are in good health this will also help to improve erectile function number six check out the medications you are taking there are some medications that can affect your erectile function for some people they started noticing a decline in their erectile function when they started taking certain medications please if you are a patient watching this video and you notice that you started having issues with your erection after you started taking a medication please do not just discontinue make sure you seek advice from your medical practitioner before you discontinue any medications because some medications have rebound effects when you just discontinue some medications those have to be tapered slowly before you can be taking off that medication so don't stop taking a medication without informing your healthcare professional and number seven for psychological factors causing erectile dysfunction you will need to see a psychotherapist a psychotherapist will put you through various sessions that will help to improve your mental health and this will in turn improve your erectile function. You could also seek spiritual assistance too to help improve erectile function. Number eight, avoid watching pornography and masturbation. A research was carried out and it was said that men that watch pornography and engage in masturbation are more likely to have erectile dysfunction. Avoid masturbating, avoid watching pornography, seek for psychotherapist assistance. You can also go for spiritual counseling and all of that. And this will go a long way to improve your erection. Number eight, please do not have low self-esteem. Be patient with yourself. It is when you've tried all of these measures, it is when you've done all of this that you can see your healthcare professional and talk to them about how that these measures you have put in place are not really helping. Then your healthcare professional can decide to either place you on sildenafil or on tadalafil or any of those phosphodiesterase inhibitors. But please do not just start taking this medication without seeking the advice of your healthcare professional because you could be making some mistakes 
since they come in different doses and all of that your healthcare professional is in the right position to tell you how and when to take these medications so thank you so much for watching this video see you some other time do not forget to like and share this video to your loved ones and do not forget to click on the subscription button if you've not subscribed yet i am pharmacist vera